Good morning, folks. <clears throat> we are back here in Arkansas. The weather is pretty decent. It's, uh, it's about 9.30 in the morning. I've gotten up a little bit early before work. And uh, it's about 70 degrees, really, really overclass, cast, bit windy, and not very bright at all. But not a bad time to go fishing. So we're gonna we're gonna find us a nice spot, go target some sort of fish, and see what happens. Over the best. So, yeah. All right, we have made it to our spot. Just a quick little drive up the road, and yes. We're in a golf course with all this isolation and quarantine and stuff going on. Golf courses ain't real popular right now. <clears throat> and uh, you know, generally their ponds are stocked with fish because an empty pond with no fish in it is gonna be unhealthy. And then they're gonna get all full of mosquitoes and have a spunky smell to it. So if you can get into them, you can generally catch some okay fish. And that's what we're gonna try to do today is catch some okay fish. We're gonna go around this way. So, we're gonna get to it, see if we get kicked out. I, uh, I don't encourage you to sneak into golf courses. I am just passing on information that I have and could be useful. So, let's see what happens. All right, so, it's because it's so overcast today, can't use really huge sight related baits because there's not a lot of sun and this pond's got a little bit of murk to it. So I've got on a small little rattle trap. And as it swims, it rattles. That brings out sound, lets fish come to it. And I'm using such a small one. Oh man, this doesn't cast great. I may have to switch out to the ultralight. But I'm using such a small one because I know that it's about bedding time for bass. That's pretty all right. So the really big ones are gonna be a lot tougher to catch. They're possibly on beds already and don't care. And since this water's all murked up, I don't have a boat. Can't really put a boat in here anyway. Uh, kind of have to settle for the dinky bass because they're not gonna be bedded up. But, there's also a good chance there might be some crappie in here. And I would care more about catching crappie than I would about catching those bass because they should be off their beds already if the bass are getting on theirs. And crappie would love this little thing. So we'll see what happens. I got some other stuff with me if this isn't working out. There we go. There's a fish. Not a big one at all. All right. This is much smaller than I was expecting. But uh, it's that's a start. We can we can really only go up from here, I suppose. What happened here? Right, looks like got that's what it is. This tiny little fold of skin. Come here, little guy. There we go. So there is our first fish of the day. Lovely. Hopefully we don't catch a ton of those. I was kind of hoping for something at least a little bit bigger. I got my hooks all wrapped up in the line. Gotta fix that. There we go, that's better. Is 
this is more of the size fish I was get out of here mosquito expecting to be catching yeah that's a nice little guy not you know massive by any means but he uh he's way bigger than that first one seems to be a lot of uh, crud in this pond to uh, tangled up and you don't want the crud really all around on your lure. There's a little guy. Yeah, a little large mouth. We're gonna see a lot of these, I hope. Whoop, almost lost him. So right now, all right, I just caught that fish. I've, uh, I can see something just moved in there. I got these weeds right here. And fish, of course, largemouth particularly, being ambush predators, will hang out in those weeds. So I'm just kind of trying to throw right along the edge of them, see if one comes out and takes it. One did. He let go, though. That's how I caught that last one, too. We're gonna give that another shot. Okay, maybe there's another fish willing to eat. Yep, there we go. Smaller, but the tactic worked. Little, little bitty hook. Came out right and easy. See? Told you. Now we may even be able to get a third bite out of there. Sometimes they, those little ones, they'll be stacked up in areas. Since we're going for little fish. Right there at the shore. Little guy. Got that in there a little, didn't you? Hit it head first, huh? How your head? Yeah, it's not too bad. Like, and cooks out. That little guy, right there at the shoreline. Hey, go, buddy. Let's go find a real fish. Got a little bit of wind in my back, really helping with this light cast. There's a fish. Feels like a bass. It is. Just barely got him hooked. Come here. One little hook right there. Quick and easy out. 
Nah, it's There's a fish. He feels a little bit better. No, nope, he is not. He is not at all. He just had a pull to him. Straight for the head too, huh? Look at that, slipped right out of there. Another little teeny tiny one. Now my hooks, oh, hooks fix themselves. All right. Right, oh, there he goes. I would think that would have been the biggest of the day. I was just sitting here thinking, I haven't had a bite in so long. And then right there, he just casually nips it right there at the shore. That sucks. There ain't really much going on in here. Makes sense though, but I'm gonna see if I can throw. I got this little runoff where all this pollen's collected. I'm gonna through the trees there. I'm gonna see if I can make a cast decently against the wind. That wasn't too bad. Oop, and there's a fish. Huzzah! That one's in there a little bit. Yeah, easy enough. Success! Back he goes. fish in here. Oh! Different. We got a bluegill. Didn't expect that. I, did, I honestly didn't think there'd be much fish in here. But if there's bluegill, maybe there's something else. bigger than eats the bluegill. It'd be weird if they were, you know, top predator around here. Oh, goddamn rocks. Right. Right in there, huh? We're working it out.
Oh, there's something. What do we got? This. Bluegill are the name of the game in this little spot. We got a, not too bad there. Very nice and simple. this one. Yep, there it goes. Not too uh, heartbroken about it. Assume I still got a leader. I do. Alright. I liked how that one looked though. These are my options. Uh, so I can go with the same thing, basically. I can, you know, it's a little shallow. I, I'm gonna throw this orange one. Why not? Yeah. Watched it real good. Kicked up all the dirt. Let's see what we got here. This guy's looking good. I think he had this. No, oh, he is right by the hole. This kid's gonna try again. Much better. Yeah, those were good hits. Well, his first one sucked, but those two, they're on the green. Not too far away. Hey, finally. And there it comes. Damn it. I haven't had a bite in so long. <sighs> Finally. One little fish. Didn't even get to hold it. Sad, sad times. Stop it. There we go. That took way too damn long to catch. I didn't even, like, he grabbed it right and I was just lifting the lure out of the water. house over here and they've got I can't I don't know if you can see it up on the little balcony there but it's basically just a door out to a creepy figurine of a golf man looking out and I don't see any purpose of that besides being creepy I don't know Oh, did you see that? God dang, that little boy wanted it. Seems to be how they're biting now is that like the last, 
was the one I lost and the one I got, both of them were right before I took it out of the water. They grabbed at it, and now I got that guy that did it. Hey, finally. Again, right up along the shore. That one's a little better. A little bit bigger than what we've been seeing today. Fortunately, he's got the whole damn thing. Gotta get one of these out. There. No, no, no. Stop it, stop it. I don't want to rip your mouth out like that. No. Okay. So, there we go. Yeah, he's about average for what we're catching. Oh, another one just came and grabbed it right there in front of me. Little guy. Saw him, though. Ducks, ducks, ducks. Yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I'm just going to be following you along the shoreline. You should really just go over to the other one. There you go. That'll get me away from you. Ah, there was another right there. I felt a tiny little bump, and I thought maybe it was just the grass, and then he bit it right as I pulled it out again. Oh. Grabbed it. Well, he, he's got one in his mouth. Stop it. Hey, one more little fish. Again, grabbed it right by the shore. And now it's starting to rain a little. Not enough for me to carry yet. Big storm should be pushing in around one. What do we got here? 11.49. So I don't think I really need to worry too much yet. I'm gonna, I'm almost back to the Jeep, so I'm gonna finish up my little walk here. Ow. Another one to let go. That seems to be the case since we got to this side of the lake. We lose more than we're catching. So, all around basically this shoreline, since we got over by the ducks there, we managed to get bites again, but no, but not as many pull-ins. And then all the way back around, down that way to the bridge, around it, all around the little island, Pretty much from, well, I guess, the other side of the bridge, is that's where the other pond is, where we caught the bluegill, and we didn't get a single bite from like that bluegill over, I don't think. So maybe they just don't like that side of the lake. I think almost every fish, though, today has come in basically right at the shoreline, like hardly out from it, maybe like three, four feet off of it at most. Another fish just bit at it. Oh no, that's a turtle. That is a turtle that bit at it. What are you doing, little dude? Ha! I stalled it right before I took it out because that's how they've been biting. And this guy, I watched him swim right up and grab it. I have found your pattern. You are tiny. But you are fish. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so. I felt a tiny little bump and I looked down and I saw this guy try to grab it and miss. So I just kinda left it sit for a second and gave it a little twitch. Came right back and grabbed it again. Lovely. Gotta love it. Whoop. Well, he's in the water. There we go. Little bitty tiny guy. He was, he was out there off the bank a good ways. 
are you doing out there, tiny dude? All big fish are gonna eat you. A little fingerling for us. I am not even hold that. Alright. Well, we're scaling back up now, but we're also just about done. I'm gonna give a couple more casts around here while these golfers do what they're doing. Oh, there goes another one. Spit it out on me. He had like almost the second it hit the water, he grabbed it. Oh, and there's another fish. Yep. All right, this is gonna be the last fish today. You know, one of the bigger ones we've caught. We're back at our starting point. It should be raining soon. And I'm hungry. We're done. We're, uh, see we're right back at our starting point. So I've walked the entirety all around this lake, down around the back, little island there, all the way around, loop back over to here. Now we're back at the Jeep. So, with that, we're gonna call it a day. We spent a good two hours here or so, two and a half. It's about, it's a little afternoon, I think. Got here around 9.40, so I'll say two and a half hours here. It's a nice time, you know, get out, do something. Get out of a, uh, still isolating, but getting out of the house, which is what you should do. I know a lot of states are uh, waiving fishing licenses until like the end of April, just to encourage people to go out and do things you know, get out of the house and do something while still maintaining some form of isolation. There's a spot that I jump, a little creek running here. I think I jump over right there. So, I mean, unless you're in uh, Washington State, they just canceled fishing altogether. Ugh. Said no one's allowed to go out and do that. So, unless you're there, maybe something we're checking into. I know uh, to get like a little lure like I'm using, and a cheap rod to throw it costs maybe like you can go to Walmart 25 or 30 dollars gotta find my keys you could uh do a couple cheap little lures one cheap little rod so look into it if you want to give something a try you need a reason to get out of the house fun little time good little walk you never know what you might get oh no don't get your pliers uh until next time see ya